Borna Chorich was in desperate need of a big result to regain his confidence, and he got that against the former Cincinnati Masters champion and world number three Rafael Nadal in the second round at Cincinnati Masters. The Spaniard was playing his first match since Wimbledon, but the Croatian has been dealing with his own fitness problems for over a year and this win in nearly three hours was a massive result for him, 7-6-4-6-6-3. -6 Former Croatian number one had to shut down his 2021 season after ATP Rotterdam in March due to injury, and he lost eight of his opening ten matches of the 2022 season, including against the likes of Flavio Kobali and Gastau Elias. Moreover, his former coach and friend Christian Schneider passed away earlier this year and it further worsened his situation. The 25-year-old has now become only the third player after Novak Djokovic and Nikolai Davidenko to hold a positive H2H record against Rafael Nadal after playing a minimum of five matches with the Spaniard. His most recent success in the matchup came here at Cincinnati Masters back in 2016 when he dominated the Spaniard, 6-1, 6-3, in the round of 16 and couldn't complete the following match against Marin Cilic, 2-6, 0-0, retired. Roberto Bautista Agut made easy work of Marcos Giron in the second round at Cincinnati Masters, 6-3, 6-3. This was an improved performance from the Spaniard who struggled against the American when they met in Montreal last week and needed a comeback effort against Francisco Sarundolo in the first round earlier this week. The Spaniard has played three finals and won two titles in these eight months, but he is yet to reach the quarter-final on hard surfaces since February. He has produced plenty of below-par performances this year and also suffered a few uncharacteristic losses. In his previous six appearances in Cincinnati, only once the former world number nine reached the round of 16, and he converted that into a quarter-final by dominating a Balkan player at this stage, 6-1, 6-2 against Mayamir Kekmanovic in R16. Head-to-head, -head, Roberto Bautista Agut leads 4-3, 1-2 on hard courts. Given his lack of match time at the top level and fitness problems in recent months, it's not going to be easy for Borna Chorich to face a fighter like Roberto Bautista Agut after battling for nearly three hours with Rafael Nadal. My pick in this match is Bautista Agut to win in three sets. What say you? Let me know in the comments section below, but tail or fade, may the winner be yours. Just get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit.